time jump. So went and got some worksheets from the library for us. Also, so this is gonna be a two part vlog for the first pause. That's right. Okay, time jump. By the way, camera lady is me, you know, Casa Production. Uh, you don't even need to know my first name, it's just Casa Production. And we've got Sir here. I've got his name, Sean Thrift. I forgot your first name, your full name. What was it? Okay. I don't exist outside of school, I'm just called Thrift. I power down when school finishes. It's Thrift. thrift. So, 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 can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera and say, I'm thrift, Sean thrift. Please, please. I'm thrift, Sean thrift. <laughs> <laughs> continental life. <Yeah. laughs> See? <laughs> All right, so possums, your question, okay? There's only two things I really want you to read in that reading. It's the tomb of Knossos mm -hmm. and the tomb of double axes, okay? So those are the two things that you must absolutely read. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to go through those, okay, darlings? What? It's not the entire two pages. So you can see there, two of Knossos and two of the double axes. Okay. No worries. So out of curiosity, does anyone watch your vlogs? Your videos? You know what? It depends if there's assessments. It depends if there's an examination coming up. His views just go so, up. So because every time yeah. I check, it's like one view. One view, and yeah, it's me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> me. Um, it really does depend on yeah. what's going on at the time. Fair enough. But you know when views do go up? Exactly. Yeah, for HSC, when people go, what did Sir actually say on that lesson? And then you get like new subscribers. Pretty much. New subscribers. So I'm not a fan of business studies videos. You're not a fan of business <laughs> studies? No, because I, no, I accidentally pressed on one, because I was looking for an ancient one, and I pressed on one by mistake. And it starts off, and it's you telling Shirin to shush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, that's like Accurate reference. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you can just watch my business studies one. It's like your background to studying music, you know? No, no, oh, no. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to add another subject. But I'm pretty sure, sir, I'm pretty sure if I signed up for business studies and just watched those videos, I could manage a band program in business. Yeah, I think, I think that's the basics. Like, if you watch those videos, you could get an injury. Yeah. So that's why. Should I sign up? No. Probably yeah, not. I already have too many subjects. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that is obviously meant to be what may have the pavilion oh. actually oh. been. Huh? So that's what may have the pavilion actually been. Okay. What is yeah, this? Yeah, I, I went brain dead looking at that question. I was like, yeah, what? Yeah, but. Mm. <laughs> I think. I can't see, I'm blind, but here I was trying to switch us. What? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Oh, no, no, it's not all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I can't even find it. It was like, bro. <laughs> Bro, you think this will let me eat next time? Quick, then, please. Don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? So we've been over this. Go to sleep. 
sleep at night. That is what night time is for. Listen, Unless you're a rich that's working. If I make mistakes so you guys are aware that, you know, yeah. you wake up here in class yeah. going, that's not spot right. So they get off having one more day. Yeah. But still so go to sleep. Is that his first name? Who? Gay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool guy. Okay, questions. No, it's because I'm not, because I don't want to edit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. How was graduation? Really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Wait, what? Are, oh, are, 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 the other prefix, yeah. Where's the other prefix there? Hmm? Well, the other prefix there, but they all go faster. It was only for sound proof, because okay. we had to pack up. So. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Did you get cake? No. Bro! I don't even get cake. Sorry, I didn't get cake. Do you remember the grand challenge Okay. Do you remember how to like a shrine? There was cake, no. I mean, there was cake, but we didn't get any. I asked, no, I asked Maria, I was like, is there going to be any leftovers? She's like, if there's anyone on the way, yeah, but we've only got enough for the 12 of the teachers. Yeah. So we didn't get any. This is the day of the graduation. So we think there might be an option. I'll show you the loophole about how so can I not have to enter it out if I just walk this way. Then it only sees my beautiful people. No, no, sure, it was your waist. Yeah, sure. That's okay. What would that make that? I relate to that much. Yeah. 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 What? What's the joke? What's the joke? What's the joke? I didn't hear it. Okay, there's no what? joke. There's no joke. Okay. I will. I will unrecord and go back and hear what it says on my phone. Okay. What? No, I can't. Well, exactly. That'll be three parts. No problem. Exactly. Hey, baby. Stop! Why are you so annoying? <laughs> what is the significance? Okay. So we think that the billion might not be the billion at all. It might be the other day. And that this place has religious connotations. She's looking at you like oh, yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
you know, they have a more yeah. access with yeah. the yeah. 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 sites. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the double header yeah. hat that we talked about? Yeah. The one that they might see. Yeah, multi yeah. 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 exactly right. Yeah. Okay, so we have the label. Good. And then there was one more. This one's a bit of a hard one to get. Something they were actually not sure what it was. They were essentially the last. Sort of like part of a house. So it's not like the two. Oh, that is the one that you know, not the one that you walk up on. Oh, my God. But then I was also just starting to say that it's too active. I think it's like that. You turn away and I wait for you. Maybe you should have taken something. I'm sorry. I don't have the eyes in the back of my head. You should have taken it. Can't see evidence. Clearly, you're going to be up there. I wasn't open. I was open. Nuts without me. It was so good. <gasps> it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What the boy was it? We doing ratios. We were doing ratios. Now we're doing ratios. Oh. Alright, girls. I'll let you finish those questions. That's heartbreaking. It should have been amazing without me. When you get home, but I would like to finish off this PowerPoint before we finish the lesson, okay? So let's smash for it quickly. So you had fun in maths without me. Okay. <laughs> I'm very hurt. There's not so fair. looking at the tomb of the double axes. Okay? So this is what the layout of the tomb of the double axes actually looks like. Wow. It looks like an axe. It looks like an axe, exactly right, hence its name. Okay? Because those are the two blades there. Remembering that a Minoan axe or a Lapras was like this. It's metal as hell. It's metal as hell, brother. Do you see that? It looks like both sides. So that's what the Minoan axes look like. It looks like a bow tie with a string attached. Okay. I would like to be buried in one. Now, nah. it looks like a bow tie without a leash, but something. Now, I'm sorry that's so small, but I'll read it out to you. Go for it. The first element stressed by Evans and the perspectival arrangement, he observed that the tomb was fashioned as if to be seen and visited. This is not a tomb where you just tuck away and never visit again. From the entrance, the first element that would capture the visitor's gaze was the central pillar. The dimensions of the chamber were not so large as to require a pillar to hold up the roof even if the roof did eventually collapse. So once again, we have this idea of pillar and column worship in a Minoan society. 
Okay, so there's no reason that they needed a pillar. Okay. Further, the incised pattern giving the pillar a columnar effect is immediately visible. Marinatus argues that the presence of signs identifying the pillars as focal points within the complex is the most important distinguishing feature for a pillar shrine. So she's basically arguing, hey, 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 it's not places where you just bury the dead, it's also somewhere where you go to worship. Not every room with a pillar has to be interpreted as a shrine, especially when we are dealing with basement rooms more easily understood as storage spaces. So just because it's got a pillar doesn't mean it's immediately holy. In the case of the DTA, Tomb of Double Axis, however, the presence of the incised motif strongly suggests that the pillar owes its existence to reasons other than structural necessity. It doesn't need a pillar to hold up this room. They put it there for a reason then. Whether it was just to be decorative or whether it was because of their part of their religion remains to be seen. But we think because it's all the way in the centre of the room and it's amongst the dead, we can safely say, hey, there's probably a religious aspect to this. The tomb of the double axis, discovered in 1913 by Evans, belongs to this new burial type. It is exceptional relative to other tombs. However, in the great number of religious symbols present, Evans long ago underlined, in both architectural and archaeological terms, the outstanding quality of the nature and contents of this tomb. In his opinion, the DTA, D, TDA was not only a simple burial chamber, but also a sort of shrine dedicated to the Minoan goddess. Okay, basically, get the very simplest from that. Tomb of the Double Axes, not just a funeral place, can also be a religious shrine. Okay, good old pillar. Now, how do we sum up the Minoan attitudes towards the dead? Well, we say most bodies are buried without cremation until the Iron Age, so they're not burnt until the Iron Age. In early Minoan II, bodies began to be placed in larnax to show possible individuality or respect. However, it was not the common. In MM1 and EM2, bodies would be also put... Sorry, Mr. Thrift, it was so dark in here. I was like... Yeah, Hello? You wanna... Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Hello? Sorry. Are you waiting to get in this? Yeah, can I do one more? Yep. So girls, just keep on reading through that. EM2, bodies would also be put into the pithoi and bathtub lanaxes. However, these were, however, not buried and put on display on the floor of the tomb, like we were saying before. Thus, they would have decayed via the air. Okay, they are decaying in the open, effectively. Bodies were buried in the flex position, like a baby about to be born. The dead were buried with objects and offerings in the form of food, and such may have been made to them after they have died. The dead were often interred with after they had rotted with bones being pushed aside. Unclear if the Minoans thought they had lost their privileged status after the flesh had rotted and the spirit had moved on, like what we were saying at the start. Once the flesh is gone, maybe the spirit's gone. Maybe that's why they didn't really care about what happened to the bones afterwards. Okay? Very Zoroastrian opinion. Now, when we are looking at rituals for the dead, the easiest one to bring up, and we've had a look at this one before, is the Aegea Triata Sarcophagus. It was my favourite. It was one of my favourites. It was very pretty. Okay? It is very, very pretty. Now, the sarcophagus at Aegea Triata shows a religious ritual on both of its sides. One panel shows two goddesses on a chariot driven by griffins. The other panel has a chariot conveying a man in the company of a goddess. She is taking him away in a vehicle. Okay, possibly moving on into the afterlife. Okay, give me a sec. 
This side, the side panel depicts a religious sacrifice and offering made to the dead. The dead man stands dressed in what appears to be a long covering cloak outside his tomb. From this larynx, we can see that the burial, at least for the rich, was accompanied by the sacrifice of animals and the presentation of offerings. All right, what I'll do is I'll upload that PowerPoint when I get back to my office, okay? I'll try and upload both videos. Hopefully, they'll both work now. And I would like you to try and go through the rest of the PowerPoint. Keep in mind, girls, if you download the PowerPoint, you can actually see the notes that I put into each slide, which will be useful for when you're going through the pictures. Also, I tried that. It didn't come up. It doesn't come up? Did it. Fake news. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, so it if you could go through those last away. slides, though, that would be great. On the website, like, all the stuff is private. Oh, no, it works now. It works now. Oh, it works. According to Miss Sullivan's um, yeah. Google Classroom one. You have to use the new link. That so she press put the on. new link and it works. Let us all oh, bless the Sullivan. Yes. yes. Long oh, may she reign. I saw her today. She was at the yes. graduation. Yes. 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 Lovely. She dyed her hair. It looks so good. Yeah. All right. Let's wrap up. Yeah. So wave. Wave goodbye.